What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I've got this 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 RST. Right before we jump into this Silverado, if you guys are enjoying these types of reviews, please be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as it does help out the channel. With that being said, let's jump right into this all new Chevy Silverado 1500 RST and see what it's all about. And if an RST is not your cup of tea, don't worry, you have a ton of other trims to choose from, such as the WT Custom, Custom Trail Boss, LT, RST. ST, LT Trail Boss, LTZ, High Country, or the ZR2. Now, when it comes to standard safety features with the RST trims, you are going to get what's called the Chevy Safety Assist, which is going to give you your automatic emergency braking, forward collision alert, front pedestrian braking, following distance indicator, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and your Intelli Beam. And if you're looking to get more safety options, then those are definitely available. Right before we jump into the exterior and talk about the truck, unfortunately, this truck did not come with a window sticker and all of the options that it has so i'm going to do my best to cover the options that i think this has but regardless if i do miss any please let me know in the comments down below so starting off in the front as you can see a few things have changed from the previous design near the bottom you've got your fog lights tucked away underneath and these are your led fog lights by the way which in person do look a little too far down but hey i guess they work in that position you've also got two of your tow hooks in the front and then you've got this massive grill in area which also looks different you've got a ton of openings and then now you have this one massive bar that goes across with your black and chrome chevy logo and then you can't take your eyes off these led headlamp reflectors which definitely have a unique design to it and do make the truck stand out a lot coming around to the side of the silverado you've got your gloss black side mirrors which are standard along with your body color door handles which are also standard you will notice the badging around the truck is all blacked out which typically it does not come blacked out as standard on this truck you've also got the available side steps which you can either get in black or in chrome and then you have these really nice looking upgraded 20 inch painted aluminum wheels with the machine face and grazing painted pockets and you also notice the bow ties are all blacked out on this and that is with the rst models otherwise typically you're just gonna have your 18 inch bright silver painted aluminum wheels but with these they make the truck look so much better coming around to the back of the rst you've also got the 4x4 decals on both sides of the bed just like the front, you've got the rear body color bumper, which is standard. And on both sides, you do have your steps built in to get in and out of the bed. In the center, you have your hitch. And right above that, you've got all your wiring, plugs, and whatnot. As for the tailgate, you've got this massive Chevrolet lettering. And just like the badging on the side of the truck, even on the back, it's all blacked out. So your Silverado and the RST. Similar to the front headlamps and fog lights, the rear tail lights are also LED, which is standard. You also notice on the tailgate handle, not only do you have your backup camera, but you also have your hitch zoom. Opening up the tailgate, you've got the factory spray on bed liner. And the only other thing that you have back here is your standard cargo bed LED lighting, along with the plug. This particular truck also has your hard tonal cover. And on the rear window, you've also got your rear power sliding window. Now entering into the rear of the Silverado, you've got a pretty simple setup here starting at the bottom you do have a decent amount of storage area but if you want to put a water bottle or anything you've got enough room to put whatever size you want you've got your speaker back here surrounded in chrome and then if you move to the door handle area not only do you have more chrome pieces but you have this nice wood trim as well as for the interior this is a fully black interior and it's a fully cloth interior as well but regardless if it's cloth it's still very very comfortable here in the back as well something that i do wish that they added back here is is a center handrest for the rear where it could have had cup holders or something even though you have cup holders across from you but i think that would have still been good and lifting up the rear seats as you can see by these mats you do have a decent amount of storage area at the bottom so if you have things that you don't want to put in your bed you can definitely fold up the seats back here and put it here behind the driver and passenger seats you do have two mat pockets for that additional storage as for the rear center console area you've got two cup holders up top followed by your venting and usb ports for the rear now making your way into the front of the Silverado. It's exactly like the rear. You just have a little bit more storage area at the bottom with an extra cup holder space. You've got your speaker as well. And this truck does have Bose sound system, which is very, very nice. Everything else is pretty identical to the rear. You've got your typical side mirror controls, window controls, and the same thing up top. You do have more of that wood trim, which you'll notice inside of this truck. And as for the front seats, again, it is cloth seating. However, because this 
truck comes with the convenience package. This is gonna give you your heated seats for the front and your heated steering wheel. Plus you do have the option of having two interior colors. Either you can get the black on black that you see here or you can get the Gideon very dark atmosphere. And what you're also gonna get with the driver's seat is that it's gonna be a 10 way power adjustable seat. Underneath, nothing too special, just your foot pedals and your hood latch release. Next to your steering wheel, you've got a better looking layout for this section. You've got your electronic parking brake, your different modes, your front lighting controls, and your dimmers. And as for your steering wheel, this is a manual adjustable steering wheel. As you enter into the Silverado, your whole dashboard is covered kind of in this soft vinyl and it has some plastic pieces covering around it. As for your center gauge cluster, this is where this truck starts to shine. It's a fully digital gauge cluster as you see, and the graphics actually look really, really nice on this. Everything just looks very sharp and clean. Plus, in the center of everything, you do have different options that you can have of the truck in front of you, so you can scroll through all sorts of things. And let me know in the comments down below, are you a fan of this new fully digital gauge cluster? As for the steering wheel, this is a fully leather wrapped steering wheel, and you've got more of that satin chrome finish. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got controls for your cruise control settings, your heated steering wheel button, and your front distance setting. While on the right side, you've got controls for the center gauge cluster and your Bluetooth controls. Also, if you look closely right behind the steering wheel, you do have your paddle shifters. And behind the steering wheel on the left side, you've got your typical indicator, high beam, and windshield wiper controls. Moving over to the center handrest area, this is pretty massive, and you also have this small storage thing on top of it. However, if you go ahead and open it up, not only do you have this nice little tray here, but you have more space at the bottom, and it's actually a deep storage area. You've got more USB ports inside and your plug as well. Something unique that I found on this is that if you take a look here, this is where the wireless charging pad for your phone is. In front of all of that, you've got two cup holders for the front, a small little area in the center there, and another one right behind your gear shifter. And speaking of gear shifter, this actually looks very, very premium. You've got some gloss black going on, satin chrome going on, so it doesn't look too bad. Further up, you've got a nice, decent storage area. And moving above that, not only do you have your start-stop button, but you've also got your trailer brake control, along with your typical heating and cooling temperature controls that also have your heat heated seat buttons. And what I like about this is that you can kind of control where you want the heat to come from. Plus this whole panel is covered in gloss black, which makes it pop even more. And on the other side, you've got more USB ports for the front. Moving further up, you've got more of that nice gloss wood trim, followed by your media controls for the screen. And then you have a few buttons. So you've got your lane keep assist, auto stop start, your tailgate button, traction control. And for this last button, I don't know why I thought it would kind of fold the screen down, but this actually opens all four windows. And then you you've got this 13.4 inch diagonal touchscreen, which is a huge upgrade for these trucks because if you know the previous things, they were just not cutting it. It felt like you were living in like the 1970s, but now you really start to feel the premium features come out of these trucks. And there's a ton of things that you can do on this now. Plus you'll notice there's a ton of Google integration now. Like under your map section here, you've got the same thing that you would typically see on your desktop computer, which is pretty cool to see. And then you have your typical stuff like your phone pairing section, and you've got this nice high definition rear view camera camera, which you have different tabs of, and then of course your hitch zoom. If you click into the trailering section here, you have a few options like adding a new trailer, using a guest trailer, or using accessories. And then your climate control you can either use from the touchscreen or the buttons down below. And because it's such a big screen, you have a little section off to the right, which you can kind of use as a split screen and have other information there. Up top, you've just got your rear view mirror, followed by your typical interior dome lighting, your OnStar SOS, and then your rear power sliding window button. Coming around to the past your side, in your glove compartment, nothing too crazy, but you still have a decent amount of storage area. And this whole wood trim that you see inside, if you look really closely, it kind of has this weaving pattern. I don't know how to explain it, but it definitely stands out. As for the key on this truck, you've got a unique looking one with the lock, unlock, remote start, your tailgate button, panic button, and your Chevy logo on the back. As for what powers this truck, standard, the RST does come with the 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8 engine, which is paired with your 10-speed automatic transmission. You do have other available options, such as your 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8 or your 3 liter Duramax turbo diesel. But let's say you don't choose the available engines and you just stick with the standard. Well, then you're gonna get 355 horsepower with 383 foot-pound of torque. And depending on how you spec out your RST. With the standard engine, you'll be able to have 9,200 pounds of max conventional trailering. Well, there you have it, the all new 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 RST. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Do you love it or do you hate it?